Hey everyone, in this video today I'm going to be starting a new series about some of the common mistakes that you can make in trap shooting. And one of the most common mistakes that you can make is picking your head up off the gun. So I'm going to show you exactly what that is and then I'm going to show you how to fix it or some of the ways you can fix it. So I'm going to go outside and let's get to it. Alright, so if you've ever shot trap before, I'm willing to make a pretty good guess that you've made this mistake before. You've closed your gun, you've mounted your gun, got ready to go to the target, you get that beautiful straightaway, it just looks like, man, I'm just going to hit that and I'm just going to hammer it, and you do this. You go pull, you go up, and then you take your head off the gun. Now maybe not to that extent, I mean all you got to do, literally, is just do this. I mean, all you have to do is just do this. And literally, that will wreck your whole move to the target. I mean, it, it will just totally destroy it. You know, and it's because you're disconnecting yourself from the barrel. So you have no way to follow through whenever you're coming up off of the gun like that. It changes the whole sight picture. And more than likely, you're going to move your barrel a little bit too in doing it. And it's a very common mistake. And so how do you fix it? Well, it's not easy. There's not a one-time fix. There's a few things that you have to do well in order to get past this mistake. Number one, you got to make sure that whenever you mount the gun, you're really getting your head on there solid. So for me, um, a key point to remember is you want to have that anchor point on your cheek of where you're going to start putting the gun down at. So for me, the cheekbone is it. I just barely, just right, barely right where my gum and my teeth meet is right where I want to start the gun laying down at, and then I'm going to come down. Um, for some people, it's where their teeth, if they were to grit them, that would be their, their spot. Um, you have to find that spot so you can be consistent. And second of all, you have to push down harder, so you really want to keep a consistent pressure throughout the shot. One way you can practice this is whenever you're home, take and do some gun mounts. So you can go and you can swing your gun different ways and make sure you're keeping a constant pressure of your cheekbone onto this onto the cone with the gun. That's one way to solve it. Another way, and this is whenever you really have problems, is whenever you're shooting on a windy day and those targets are going up. Um, this is when I see a lot of people, and I must, myself included, I'll do this too, is you just take that gun and your head off the gun because the target's going up. So you immediately want to take your eyes and look. You know, because it's like, oh my goodness, I didn't know a target could go that high. You know, it, it can be crazy sometimes. Um, but anyway, so I go like this, and I just take my head right off the gun. Well, I just defeated the whole purpose of making the move to the target, because there's no way I'm going to be able to break that target taking that head off the gun like that. Um, I mean, whenever you're that far along into the shot, you know, you, just, you really can't put your head back down once you take it off. Um, you might be able to do it very rarely, but you're not going to be able to consistently break high scores doing that. So one key thing is to have your hold point correct. Now what I mean by hold point is your position of your barrel on top of the trap house. So is it one foot above the trap house? Are you right on the trap house? Are you below the trap house? You need to have it adjusted correctly depending on the position. So you know if that wind's coming in your face and the targets are going up higher, then you're going to need to raise that hold point a little bit to help you out so that it makes everything feel a little bit more natural. And those are some of the basic ways that that you can help prevent raising your head up. Um, a kind of little a bonus tip here is you really want to make sure you follow through. So if you're taking your head up, you're not going to be able to follow through on the shot like you need to. So what you do is you take your head up and it stops your follow through. You know, it's just not natural for me to continue following through from a position where my head's off the gun more. Um, so if you're staying in the gun, one thing to remember is did I follow through? right so the follow through will help you stay into the gun um, and help you stay on the gun with your comb and stay on the target and everything the follow through is key to shooting and it's a key to making sure that you keep your head on the gun so thank you guys so much for watching today I hope this helped you if you've had this problem before I think it's something that most trap shooters have struggled with at one time or another so uh, give us a thumbs up on this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.